Hello everybody, Mr. O here, and welcome to part three of Abstract Human Form Sculptures. I know it's a mouthful, and this is kind of like just a simple finishing lesson, so I'm going to go over a few things, and uh, I want to point out this right here. This is kind of important. Uh, this is a paper clip that I just cut into small pieces, because I'm going to use it to repair this one that I had told you about in the beginning. And all you do is just take a paper clip and these scissors, which you can get cheap at any store, are awesome for doing this. Just take it to the back and you can just clip them right off. I straighten them and you might not need three. Um, toothpicks are excellent, but I didn't have any toothpicks. And when I run out of toothpicks in the art room, I uh, kind of just go to the paper clips. And I'm gonna just use two of these. And I don't poke them as deep as I want because when I put this on, what's going to happen, it's going to push down and I'm going to form it right there. Now, if I was painting this one, what I would do is I would take the white paint, which is our primer, and I would get it in between. I would just paint that area. Then I would fill in the crack with maybe Elmer's glue after the paint dries. And then I would paint over everything white again and then gold on top. You will probably see the echo, as you can see, because this has been like this for years. It's kind of rounded itself um, by touching. And uh, you'll fill in a lot of that crack. And uh, because snapping is going to happen, you, you don't want that to happen. But when it does, um, just know you can fix it um, and just be patient with it. Now I got to stand it up. Uh, this is the one we're going to finish. Um, as you can see, it's my design. Got curves, added some grooves. Um, and uh, what I did is I did a final sanding and got rid of all the dust. Now, how did I get rid of the dust? This is where I go over to the trash can at home or in the art room and gently blow all the loose dust out. It's usually easier the day after you you do your final carving because the dust is ready to just be blown off. Um, and uh, so if there is time within the art room and or if you're at home, I suggest you do this anyway, uh, paint them. Um, have fun with it. We're, what we're gonna use, I got my paint brushes. Um, I got my little bowl, comes with a, a cap that I can seal so I can keep paint for a couple days. I'm using liquid paint. You can use your craft paint. I'm gonna just paint basic white. I'm just gonna use white as my primer and then I'm gonna put a metallic. Now, I don't have gold here at my studio. So what I do have is one I bought on clearance um, many moons ago um, and it's brass. So I'm actually kind of curious how this is gonna look. So I'm hoping for good results and good shadows within the sculpture because point of having a sculpture is to create shadows and, and light and darkness. So, uh, so this is this area right here. I'm not going to paint. Um, I'm going to paint to the edge and because I'm going to do that, I'm going to actually paint this first and I'm going to wait, I don't know, maybe five to 10 minutes at the most. And then I'll paint the rest of the sculpture because I'll be able to put it on the table and hold it because the acrylic dries pretty fast. And because white is going to be the first layer, it's not going to be even. And don't worry about whether it's even or not. Think of it as a primer. You're just letting the foam absorb the paint in. And then I'm going to go... Um, this is probably a two-day thing. You prime it one day and then you go with the metallic... Uh, the next day, and then they're ready to go. Um, like I said, you don't have to do this. This sculpture is fit, it can be finished here, and sometimes they are. And sometimes when you have time, you can uh, do the painting. Um, so guys, I'm gonna put this in time-lapse, um, and I'm gonna paint the white, and then it's gonna jump to the gold. I'm not doing it real quick. It may seem like that. What I'm doing is I'm going to just come back maybe in an hour and finish filming and put the uh, brass on, the metallic paint. And it doesn't matter what metallic paint you use. It doesn't have to be metallic paint. It could be, you could paint different colors. Abstract, that emotion, that movement could be 
uh, a lot of colors. I was just picking out something simple and quick and easy. You feel free to get more complicated, okay? So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, here is my finished product. I feel like I, I'm going to go another coat with the brass just because it was sitting for five years, so it's a, it was a little thinner on the top than I would have liked, but it looks nice. It creates a good shadow. I'm still partial to the gold, um, but any metallic paint will work. And the big thing, guys, starting from sketch to final, uh, come up with some good ideas and don't be limited um, to one thing. Try different things. And like I said, some of my best ones that I have ever seen, it comes from students. Uh, you guys are very creative and um, uh, it makes me very proud of you. And here's our definition page. Don't forget with abstract, existing in thought or as an idea, but not having a physical or concrete existence. The human form, the artistic study of the human body shape. See beyond the shell, guys. See with feeling. And it takes time to do that, but I know you can because you are amazing. Guys, signing off. We'll see you next time. Let's get that G, right? There we go. All right, bye-bye.